Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In one of my previous videos, I'd shown you how to use the OpenAI API with Google Apps Script and Google Sheets to pass a prompt from a Google Sheets into Chat GPT and get a response inside of your Google Sheets. Um, in this video, we'll be taking it to another level. Are you someone who loves reading blogs but, but finds it difficult to make time for them? Or are you just a blogger that uh, to make your content more accessible to readers you're in luck i discovered an incredible combination of tools that can help you automate the summarization of a blog in this video i'll be showing you how to use chat gpt the open ai api and google app script to generate summaries for your favorite blogs i started working on this project because i found i found myself spending too much time reading blogs and trying to distill the most important information from them i wanted a quick way to determine if a post was worth reading in full without sacrificing the quality of the content that's where google app script and chat GPT come in. By using these tools together, we can now generate concise and informative summaries that make reading blogs a breeze. So whether you're a blogger looking to improve the access accessibility of your content or a reader looking to save time while staying informed, this video is for you. So let's dive in and explore the amazing capabilities of chat GPT and Google Sheet. So we'll start out with an example Google Sheet here that I have here. I have five, five blog links here. Most of them are from the Google Cloud uh, blog. So I have taken these five links and uh, I had an interest to read this, but I just wanted to check whether they are worth reading or can, can it just give me a short summary of the blog? So we'll be using chat GPT, the open AI API and Google app script to generate the summaries. And I will be transferring all these summaries into a Google doc using Google app script. So let's just go to the open AI backend. I'll be leaving this link here. You can go, you have to go and uh, go ahead and create your account and then just click on the click, uh, create new secret key, give it a name. Let's just say, um, blog summary key. I'll just click on create secret key. And in a few seconds, my secret key will be generated. So I'll just go ahead and copy this and I'll go back to my Google sheet. And the first thing as we normally do is go to our extensions and open up the Google app script editor. So I'm going to start out by declaring my API key. I'm going to go here to API key and I'm going to open up the just going to open up the quotes here. I'm going to paste this in here. And after this, I'll be opening my new function. I'm going to name this as blog summary. And I'll open up the quotes and we'll be following the similar steps as we had done previously. I'll start out by declaring the model underscore ID. And the model that we'll be using for this, this one is going to be text Da Vinci. If you want to make a copy of the code, I have the GitHub code link in the description. You can check that out. After this, we'll be doing the max tokens here. We'll be declaring the max tokens that are required. And then we'll be declaring the temperature. And for this, I'll be keeping it as 0.7. And if you want to understand all these parameters, I have explained this in detail in the previous video. So you can find that link in the description. So now that we've declared the parameters that we required, let's just go ahead and get the get the blog links from the Google Sheets. So I'll start out by doing where SS and I'll be getting the spreadsheet by doing get active, get active spreadsheet here. And after this, I'll go down here. I'll do where variable sheet and I'll do SS dot get the sheet by name. And the sheet name is going to be sheet one. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open up the quotes, paste it here. After this, I'll go to where URLs, I'll create a new variable and I'll do sheet dot get range. And I'll just do a for now, since I, I, ha I just have six links, I mean five links. I'm just going to do a two to a six. Once you have more links in more links in your Google sheet, you can make this dynamic by doing the get data range function. So I'll just do a get values here. And just to check if we have got the correct links, oops, I'm going to do a logger dot log and I'm going to do URLs. And once I'm done, I'll click on save. I'll go ahead and click on run. So we'll go here, we'll click on review permissions here and we'll click on the account that we have here. We'll go to advanced, we'll go to the uh, project, we'll go ahead and click on allow. You can see we have successfully got all the first five links that are stored in the Google Sheet. Now that we have got the links, we need to parse through each of them and we need to send them in different prompts, right? For each of the links, we'll be having a different prompt. So we'll be opening up a for loop here and I'll be doing variable I equal to zero after this. Oops, I'll do for I'll do variable I equal to zero. And after this, I will add a I is 
less than urls dot length and after this i'll do a i plus plus so it iterates through all of them and i'll open up the codes here oops we have to add a semicolon here yep and we are all set so we'll go once we go inside the function we just want to do a variable that is url that will be the single url that it will pass through each of them and i'll do i I'll do it zero after this if you want to check whether you 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 can get the individual ones you can just do a logger dot log for the url after this um we'll be going down here and we'll open up the payload that we'll be sending into the open ai function when we pass it as a parameter in that so i'm going to go up here and the first thing that i'm going to be declaring is the model and the model for this one is going to be the model id that we just declared after this we'll be doing something very in this will be the most interesting part of it where we'll be generating the prompt so i'll be telling the prompt to do something like this where i'll tell it please generate a 50 word summary for the following blog post and inside this i'll add a colon i'll add a slash n and after this i'll be passing the url variable here once we are done with that i'll declare the temperature that's going to be the accuracy around which the pro the response will work after that we will add something called as max tokens as to how many tokens you want in the response we'll be adding the variable max tokens here and after this we'll be adding two important ones that's going to be the presence penalty and the frequency penalty which will be setting to 0 0.5 i'm just going to paste it in here and i'm just going to add a comma here and our payload is ready and it's good to go and inside the for loop we'll continue writing our code for the options so inside the options i'm going to be declaring the method in which we are going to be accessing the api so the method is going to be a post method after this we'll be having the headers and inside the header headers we plan to add the uh, content type then the authorization as to the bearer and the api key so we'll add a content content type and we want the response in application slash json that is normally how we get data from apis and after this we'll be doing authorization and inside the authorization we'll be adding the bearer add a space here don't, don't forget to add a space after the bearer one and then we'll add the api key here and now that we are done with this i'll just make a space here i'll add a comma and once we have the payload we'll do a payload here and here we'll be doing something like json dot stringify we'll go ahead and click on save and i think we are done we are ready and we are set and we're good to go so we're going to go down here and now we're going to be adding we're going to be creating a new variable called variable response inside which we'll be doing the url fetch app dot fetch and inside this we'll be passing the open ai the target link that is there we're going to be opening up this I'm open the codes i'm going to paste this here and after this we'll be adding our options that we just declared right now after this we'll be getting the summary as a response so we'll do where summary json dot we have to pass the response and inside this we'll be doing response dot get dot get content text the brackets here we'll add a semicolon we'll go down here and we'll be having a final variable called final summary and inside this final summary we'll do summary dot choices choices we'll do zero that we this means uh, um, chat gpt might give you three to four different types of summaries but we want the first one after this we'll do dot text and then we'll do dot trend we'll close the brackets here we'll the semicolon then we'll go down here as we had talked previously once we get the summary i would like a google doc to be created with the summary for the particular article that we have so i'm going to go down here and i'll be opening up variable doc i'll be doing a document app dot create and here i'll be doing a summary of blog post number i'll just add a hashtag here and after this just add um, add a plus sign here 
and here inside this i'll open up a bracket and i'll do i plus one so it will keep on counting like if there are five blocks it will go one two three four five after this we need to paste the body in it right so we need to first get the dock and after that after we get the dock we need to get the body so i'll do a get body here and after we have the body all we have to do is body dot append oops we just have to do append paragraph here and inside the append paragraph we'll just add the final summary variable i will click over down here and uh, the final thing is going to be getting the doc link so we'll be going down here and i'll create a new variable called doc url inside this i want to do doc dot get url and once i get the doc url i want to go back to my google sheet i want to do sheet dot get range and i want to do i plus 2 here comma 2 then i'm going to do a set value oops i'm going to do a set value here and inside this i'm going to be doing the doc url so our code is complete and good to go we have everything set up now and i think we're confident enough to go ahead and run the code so i'm just going to save this project i'm going to name this as blog summary underscore open ai rename and once we are done with this i think let's just go ahead and click on run the first thing that you'll have to do is accept the permission since it will ask you to access another um, an external service that is there you'll see that's the first thing connect to an external service and will tell you that we need to create a google doc edit the google sheet so it can get the links also it can paste the links back so we'll click on allow Here you can see the execution started and is completed and if I go back to my Google Sheet, I can see successfully that for each of the blogs, the summary has been created. So let's just open up the blog. Let's open up the Google Doc and you can see the um, summary has been created for all the Google Doc or for all the blog links that we uh, mentioned successfully. You can see if we open up this and you can see all the um, summaries have been successfully created. So this is all for this video. I hope you have understood how you can use chat GPT, the OpenAI API, Google Apps Trip, and Google Sheets to automate your process of the blog summary process. So this is how we can we can automate blog summarization with Google Apps Trip, chat GPT and OpenAI API. Um, in the next video, we will be taking this to another level where we'll be creating a complete email workflow as to if since I am a constant blogger, I might upload blogs every week and I, I, I have an emailing list that I send out my blogs to. But normally I send out my entire blogs to them. But this time I'll be using the OpenAI API and Google Apps Script. And we'll be using the Gmail app through which uh, once the blogs are uploaded and I put the link into the Google Doc and I, when, when I have to go to send an email, a summary will be sent to the user who has subscribed to my emailing list with the final blog link. So this will help readers understand uh, whether the blog is interesting or um, should they spend time reading it by giving them a short summary of the article that you just specified. I'll be leaving the code link and the uh, Google Sheet link in the description. You can check that out. And also there will be a blog version of this video coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.